short, C, shipping. Try saying that three times fast. Far from new, this type of transport is certainly gaining steam in the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Seaway. In this morning's Mission Possible, we take a trip to the Port of Cleveland for a look at the growing impact on our region. The ship Huron Spirit has docked to offload Canadian-made steel in Cleveland. This is an example of short sea shipping, the movement of cargo between ports without traveling on oceans. It's a concept that's not new. Particularly in our instance on the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway system is becoming much more popular and prevalent for a lot of cargo owners, not only around here but in the Midwest in general. Coastal port congestion is sparking interest in short sea shipping on the Great Lakes here and in Canada. The Great Lakes Commission, an international agency that set policies for the lakes, encouraged the practice this summer. We're basically trying to develop a solution that already exists and increase knowledge in the supply chain industry that they have an option like this to use. David Gutile says increasing shipping between Great Lake ports will speed up transportation time as goods are offloaded closer to their final destination. But unfortunately, it's taken a pandemic and some congestion that's going on in coastal ports because of global supply chain issues to make people realize that this is a viable solution. Since 1946, little ships have been bringing in such things as wood pulp, wool, foodstuffs, and art products. And other changes include a container business started in 2014. This allows a greater influx of finished goods to arrive in Cleveland. That's where the port can see immediate growth using short sea shipping. We have the capacity to handle more than 50,000 containers annually here at the space we're operating on right now at the port. Gutile can see overseas ships stopping first in Canada, then smaller ships coming to Cleveland. He believes an increase in waterway traffic has potential environmental benefits. The movement of cargo on water is seven times more fuel efficient than the movement of cargo on truck. It reduces fuel emissions and it's greener in general. Over 20,000 jobs and $3.5 billion in economic activity annually are tied to the Port of Cleveland. Short sea shipping could push those numbers higher. We want to help folks around here not only move their cargo more efficiently, but gain higher paying jobs through the movement of cargo. And if we can assist in that process, we're happy to do so. From now on, the whole world is at our doorstep. From now on, it is Cleveland, World Port.